Hey guys, and welcome to another episode of Car Extra Racing 2 with Brogue Hammer Auto House. Today's episode is going to be focused all on the Black Fox, which is the gold car you can see on the screen here. Um, but before we get into the tuning and everything detail-wise on that car, I want to talk about the Golden Days event that is currently running. Uh, there's only about 18 hours left. It's the purple box here on the main menu. So you click into that, and then you'll see... Uh, on the rewards here, they have all kinds of gold rewards. Uh, I've already received a handful of them, and I'm only about halfway through. There's another uh, handful that need to be earned here before we get done, but I'm gonna be earning six soon, then seven, 14, seven. So a um, good amount of gold and a ton of gold if you end up buying the pass below. But and I will not be doing that in this particular event just because um, I already have enough gold for right now, but I wanted to get this video out to show you guys how easy it is to earn the gold. So the biggest thing is the task. So you're gonna see that in the top right here. It's yellow, it says task. Collect two or more big angle achievements for the ride. Well, we only need one of those to be completed. So we need to do one race where we get two or more big angles. So what I'm gonna do is jump out and do one and you'll see my reward will be, you know, It'll be the 15 that I that it's showing that I get for the reward plus the six I get for getting an R1. So I'll actually get 21 points for a single run. And then I'll back out and I'll actually watch an ad so that I can get another task because um, it's not worth doing the races without the task because you just get so many more points for using the tasks. So we'll jump out there with the Black Fox and do a little run here. And then um, we will be out of some fuel, but uh, we can watch ads to uh, get that back up too. So you'll see a little entry here, and we just need some big angles basically. We already got one right off the bat. So we just need one more, and really naturally with this car, it, it pretty much goes to big angle, so I'm not too worried about trying to make sure I'm flicking an extra angle on the corners. As you can see, I just got it again. So now I'm good, I can run free for the rest of the round, just make sure that I get to an R1 final score. Um, this Black Fox tune is really fun. Um, it's a huge angle tune. Um, for this thing being a tier two car without an engine swap, it absolutely rips. Um, this thing's a lot of fun to drive, and uh, if you guys don't have it or maybe can't get it yet, I'm not sure if it's an event car or something else, but um, let me know in the comments below, and uh, it's a really fun car. So. Um, we'll do a couple more of these, and then uh, we'll jump over to the tuning here, which will be about the last five, six minutes of the video. So if you're here for tuning, jump to the end there. Um, otherwise, like the video and subscribe to the channel for future content, and we'll keep on rolling. So uh, I just got done watching another ad and got another task. It happens to be the same one, collecting two or more big angle achievements for the ride. Um, I did switch the Black Fox over to some semi-slicks to see how well that performs on the big... Um, St. Petersburg map. Uh, there's so much space here that it's fun to kind of play around and get used to what these cars are really capable of. So we'll see how it does here as I already have too much speed coming into the first corner. Um, but we'll level it out here. Get some clean driving in. So I can feel already it's really pushing me the inside of the corner if I'm on throttle. But this thing still just has so much power. It's so fun to drive in these situations. Really shallow there on that inside corner, but I got a big angle achievement. A little downshift here, that's probably gonna be a backwards entry. Not sure how I feel about the, the semi-slicks on it. I think it has a little too much grip. Um, the tune's just really not meant for it. Uh, the tune, for the most part, on most of my cars, is meant for the sport tires. I just enjoy driving on them more. I know the semi-slicks can be better for certain um, events and races, but uh, I really enjoy the sports. So as you can see, the reward again, 21. Um, so I'll back out, watch another ad um, for a new task where it says receive task there. And then I can also watch one for some fuel, but I'll likely just wait a few minutes and uh, let the fuel regenerate. So um, this is an awesome one, guys. I just, I can't express it enough to get out there. People are always talking about how they don't get enough gold in the game, need more gold for the Pro Drift tunes, you know, Pro Drift 1, 2, and 3. You need gold for each of those. And uh, if you look and add up the amount of gold that this event has already paid out to this point, um, it's like 25 or 30 and another potential for, let's see, 28 more uh, towards the later part of the event here. So. Be sure to check that out, guys. Get your gold. Online multiplayer is coming soon, according to their Facebook page. 
Thank you to uh, L Lamoy Pro Drifter. He's the one that uh, commented on one of my last videos. Let me know that there is a multiplayer coming out for mobile online, which I'm super stoked about. I cannot wait for that update to release. It'll probably be a big update. So the next time you see an update come on your phone, you better get excited because it is going to be fun. Um, but that's going to do it for the uh, event part of this video. We'll jump over to the tuning, show you guys everything there, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so let's talk about the body kits and tuning for the Black Fox. As you can see on mine, um, I do have the R&T body kit, which is kind of the uh, Huna Fox rendering that Hoonigan actually made with, uh, I think it was Ash Thorpe or one of the artists. And that car never came to fruition in real life because of Ken Block's uh, drop from the Ford sponsorship. But um, nonetheless, it's a really cool looking body kit. I love it. There's also a CBW, which looks more like a standard Fox, a Missile, which is a slightly wider body Fox, um, but kind of a funny look, and then bone stock. So as you can see, the R&T kit is just significantly wider and aggressive looking than anything else. So I absolutely love that kit, and I actually won the kit in the event, so I didn't have to buy it. <coughs> So tuning wise, I do have this thing upgraded to Pro Drift 3. Um, no engine swaps yet. I think I have one blueprint for a 2J, but I think I'll keep it factory. This thing performs really well with the motor that it comes with. And as always, this is gonna be under Brogue Auto House in the tuning store. So be sure to check that out. By the time this video is live, you'll be able to find it there. Um, so I'll give it a shot. Um, but I'm going to walk you through the tuning details here real quick anyways on it. Um, we're running 7.9 centimeters of height in the front with 62 uh, newton meters of stiffness. We have the front sway bar fully stiffened out with 0.06 uh, positive toe in the front. Negative 5.1 of wheel camber with 11.9 caster and 61% Ackerman angle. Uh, I may lower the caster a tiny bit. Uh, this thing really locks to angle pretty aggressively. Um, but I do like how it performs that way. Uh, so 61 degrees of wheel divergence. You can see the bumps and rebounds here. I don't think I've messed with those a whole lot. I don't on most of the tunes with my cars just because um, the, the factory settings usually seem to do just fine. So if you've noticed a huge change, I've tried to like stiffen them or loosen them and see what kind of big difference I notice in the suspension, um, but I haven't noticed any major changes. So if you have, leave a comment below and let me know. Uh, we're running negative two camber in the rear, uh, 10 degrees of toe, no sway bar in the rear, actually technically three Newton meters, but basically none. Uh, and then 66 on the spring stiffness and 6.9 spring size. In the front, we're running a 19 inch tire with a 285. Uh, 35 profile, and then we're running a 19, 285, 35 in the rear. So square setup all the way around. I couldn't put a wider tire in the rear, otherwise I probably would have. Um, but that's why I switched up to the 35% profile because that'll give us some more grip too. If you're ever looking for more grip and you already have the width set as far as possible, you can get this all the way up to like a 40%. <laughs> you got a lot of meat on the tire for side bite and uh, digging into the corners. So something to think about there if you're looking for more grip. Um, this is a turbo car. I have it maxed out pretty much entirely minus a little bit of RPM. So since you can see the RPM drops off, I just thought I'd bring it back a hair to around 7,500. Uh, still has 853 horsepower and 973 newton meters of torque, which is massive, massive torque for a tier two car with the stock motor that comes with it. Um, in the diff, we're running a 0.64 on the differential coefficient and then the gear ratio just under a 4.0 at a 3.93 and then as you get down to fourth and fifth you will see that uh, fifth gear is at a 0.88 and fourth is at a 1.05 now that ratio just seemed to work out the best for me with the way i'm at and fifth gear is still plenty long to have the high speed for a lot of the big corners but not be you know too aggressive to the point where i can't you know get around the corner the way i want to on the brakes, we're at 90% shared the front axis for 4,300 newton meters of force. And then you can see in the front, um, this is mostly because of the body kit that's on the car, but it's poked out uh, 10 centimeters in the front to get it all the way out to that fender lip. Might be a hair too much, but um, I just like the aggression, the look on this thing. 
And then I brought it out four centimeters in the rear to uh, also give it that flush look on the rear fender. So we'll jump out, do a little bit of driving, um, but that's gonna do it for the, the Black Fox video today, guys. As always, appreciate you watching. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe for future content, and uh, put your life in drive. That's gonna do it for today's video, guys. We'll see you next time.